uh, just started to fill up. He started a little bit rough and then I gave him a few revs and then a weird noise happened and then Phil cut out. So I'm going to try and start him one more time and see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Phil, ladies and gentlemen, is officially dead. I'm installing uh, a lean-to on my house. My girlfriend's <laughs> going to be really happy about this. It's one of those flip-out ones, so you throw it and then it opens. Oh, I see. It opened. Oh, it didn't work. We are fixing Phil. I really hope so. I'm all done with Phil. Yeah. I've even had a shave today because I'm excited. We, there's going to be loads more Phil videos. He needs a respray. He needs a V6 at some point. Is that happening? Yeah! <laughs> Hopefully. Okay, we'll build this gazebo. I, I, I've tried. Phil's engine is in the garden, so we're going to get to work on that. Phil went boom because <laughs> Phil's oil pump decided it didn't want to pump oil to the top of the engine anymore. And then all hell broke loose. And then we rebuilt the head, spent what, 20 hours rebuilding the head, lapping the valves, put it all back together, and then realised that the oil pump was buggered. The fun thing of this is that we've done all of this already and then I convinced Alex that we need a new oil pump <coughs> to replace this one, else we're gonna get the same sort of problems. And then he said no, so we pulled everything back together. And then I convinced him again. No, you, you said decided, it'd be fine. You, were like, you decided you're like, that it's, it's a really good plan. It'll be fine. Right, there we go. Okay, nice. Here we go, mate. This is the new oil pump from a, is this from a VVT? Yeah, VVT Mark II, apparently. So, uh, Actually, apparently more durable, stronger, and able to cope with higher pressures. So it should be good for a turbo car, hopefully. I like this setup, this table. A couple of tires and some, what are these things, these yellow things? So these are for the pin-in, four by four. When you get oh, stuck in the yeah. mud, you put those under the wheels. Yeah. Do you think Phil will be working today? Hell. <laughs> I think yes. I think it's likely but we need to we need to get a shifty on because this is taking far too long now. And Ethan, you need to go and make some tea. And equally that. And there's no I in team, Ethan. But there it's is just tea. tea. <laughs> <laughs> this is upside down. Yes. <gasps> I am so good at engines. Now. He knows too much. Oh that's some oil. Oh god, wow, now you're getting technical. So this is your old engine? Yeah. Poor guy. How's progress going? Yeah, not bad. So we've got the old, old oil pump off there. So we pulled it off there. And this, this one actually works, so this is fine. So this is the one that we think has actually killed Phil. We've yet to take it off. But when we do pull it off, we're hoping to find like little bits of metal. What we should have done was assemble this in the lounge. That would have been a better idea. Get oil everywhere. But it would be nice and clean. You doing the washing up? Uh, no. Well, kind of. I'm washing up the uh, new oil pump. Are you using the brush you use for your dishes? Uh, what's the right answer here? Uh, no. No. Okay, no. Absolutely not. No, I have a uh, specialised brush here. I mean, it's not that bad anyway. I mean, yeah. That'll be fine. fine, your, fine. That'll be fine on your plate safely. Yeah. Or we'll just use paper plates. Oh, mate, what is it? Oh, good work, Ethan. I like short bread. Oh, are you making tea? Yes. Amazing. I might have to eat one of these. That's the most horrific. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. It's not raining though. It will. I pray it rains. <laughs> One day. Uh, that's upside down. That's a good height, right? That's really good. We just leave it like that. It's big enough for you. Yeah. Lucky you're dry now from all this rain. Yeah, thanks Ethan. No, the gazebo only took about 40 minutes. Oh my God, I feel my life draining from me as I'm doing each part of your crappy job. 
This is enjoyment, this is friendship. You need friends like Gareth. I'm curious, Gareth, why you donate so much of your time to this. I'm, I'm curious this. as well. <laughs> Have you pinned the gazebo down? Um, yes, with hopes and dreams. So this is the feed into the oil pump drains off the bottom of the sump. Uh, Alex is busy cleaning up the face of the sump, so we've got silicon running all the way around it. Have we forgotten anything? I hope not. No, me too. What would you do if you went bang today? Uh, I'd have to hurt someone. I'd be disappointed, but I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> would you get rid of the car finally? No, that car is no, ne I'm never going to sell that car. You have to? Genuinely, I'm never going to sell it. What, because no one wants it? Partly that. Why do you love it? Because it's awesome. It's best car I've ever owned. Go. Oh, it's pretty heavy. Oh, thankfully the gazebo is helping us. You've just done so much today. Gazebo. Gazebo. I yeah. think that took you 15 minutes. Yeah, this is too long. Yes. It's lucky you're here, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, without me, there would be no Phil. There would be no you here. There'd be no gazebo. So, yeah. Mm. You're welcome. Look at this. So, you're not strong enough to put your engine in? I am. It's just, I want to keep it real. Yeah. For mortals. Printed thread <laughs> on my glove. Alright, mate, let's get this done. No! Alright, say Phil's not going to know what to do with himself if and when the engine starts. Well, this car is just moulded in the time you've left it. Yeah, I know. What's going on here? It's all mouldy, isn't it? Why don't you just get a new car? I thought I'd get a new car. Just get another more. red Mark 1. No, that's not how it works. It's literally disgusting. It's just dirty. It just needs a bit of a polish. Like a Mercedes. Everyone loves it. Nature loves it. Look at all this. Spiders. Trellis. Mold loves it. That'd be great banter if it fell. Right there? Yeah, we're just trying to stot ourselves into the hole. Just, no, no, just keep, keep equal pressure on it. Are you feeling smug about this gazebo? I don't know, you tell me. That's my rope. Okay. You're welcome. No problem. In? Half the engine is in. Thanks to Gareth. Blowy and windy out here today. Yeah, which just shows how good the gazebo is. I think this car was made for people with smaller hands. How many bolts have you got left to do? Bots. <sighs> many. I think it's going to happen this evening. It's just too many things to get done, and plus we have to then set up the timing and that takes bloody ages. There's no rocks or stones in here, is there? We'll find out. Yeah. Okay. Oh. 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 It just exploded. How has that helped your mood? That is that is improved a tenfold. Wow, that's that's gone everywhere. Yeah, I'm good. so happy with that. I just want to punch something. Yeah, I'm think I'm thinking it's spot on. See? Oh, sorry. No. Oh, no. What do you think the chances of it starting are? Percentage? Hundred. Blood. Can we alright? I don't know. That PPF done? Yeah. Exhaust done? Yeah. Exhaust bolts on? Yeah quite annoying having someone pointing a camera in your face, don't you think? Okay, I'll go home then. Okay, I'll go home then. 
This Still. is the last bolt. Hey. How nervous are you? Um, not too nervous, because I think we've done an okay job. So it's been about nine months since uh, Phil, Project MX-5, was uh, actually working. It's been a new engine now, and we've spent all day getting the new engine in. Yeah, it's been a hard graft, but finally we've got somewhere. Shall we start it up? Let's try it. Oh my god. Check if the clutch works, though. Are you sure? But now, <laughs> Phil is alive! Oh, that's amazing. Super lumpy though. For now, at least, the engine is running. <laughs> I mean, the engine sounds like shit. <laughs> Doesn't sound great. Oh! oh. It's sounding better now. Yeah, as you said, it shit. Yeah. I'm happy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sounds really nice now. Welcome back to the ultimate Lexus IS200 track project proudly sponsored by eBay. In today's episode, we're going to be changing the clutch, we're going to be installing a short shifter and a beautiful light and flywheel. 